In a recent update by Microsoft as part of the latest release wave, Dynamics Marketing has been updated with conditional content features inside the real-time marketing app. Conditional content is an easy way to deliver effective and engaging personalized content to target audiences at a more granular level. An example of conditional content is including different images based on a recipient's profession, age group, address, interests, and other criteria. By creating this kind of personalized content in Dynamics 365 marketing is straightforward, requiring no coding or scripting. With conditional content, you decide on a content element, then create variations of it with the conditions of the recipient deciding what is shown the recipient's mailbox. You can also create conditional content in content blocks so that this can be replicated in other emails. And marketing users with less experience handling data can benefit too. Conditional content blocks also saves significant setup time and reduces errors. You can create as many variations as needed. At the time an email is sent, conditions are evaluated in the order they're present in the email. When a condition is satisfied, the corresponding content is included and the conditional evaluation stops. If none of the conditions are satisfied, the default content is used. If there's no default content, then no content is concluded. There are some rules to using it that need to be followed. A conditional section can include text, images, buttons, links, or any other element that is supported by the email editor. A conditional image only includes images. A conditional section can't include a conditional image. In the email designer, select a section or an image and then select the conditional content button. The section or the image frame changes color to indicate it's now a conditional section. The property pane on the right margin shows a new subtab called variation. Select the variation subtab. Select add new condition in the property pane, then define the condition. Add more conditions if needed. At this point, you have the same content associated with each condition. Select default for any condition for which you want to change the content. Update the selection or image in the designer. Repeat the previous two steps to update all the content as needed. Before sending an email, you want to test and preview your conditional content. In the designer, you should always preview and test each variation to make sure there are no unexpected results. To do this, Select the preview and test tab in the email designer and then select edit sample data. In the property pane, expand the conditional content section. Email variation lists all possible variations of the email. Select the variation you want to check. The main design area will show the preview of that variation. By default, variations are named using the names you give to the conditions. If desired, you can rename the variation by updating its name in variation name edit box. In this case, you may want to use conditions from advanced personalization than to create a complete duplicate section containing the same set of images and text only to change the greeting. I will put a link in the description on more detail of how this works. This powerful tool will support marketers to produce content more relevant to their audiences increasing engagement and reaching marketing objectives. Previously, this was only achieved using complex scripting out of reach of many organizations. Being able to do this without code and using an intuitive interface will be an attractive option for marketers going forward.